Alice Gross, the 14-year-old whose suspected killer had already murdered in his homeland of Latvia. Amy Houston, the 12-year-old hit-and-run victim of an illegal Iraqi immigrant with previous convictions. Moira Jones, the businesswoman raped and murdered by a Slovakian with 13 previous convictions. None of them should have died, not if the system was working. Moira's mother says our tracking of foreign criminals is hopeless. Human right. I had the right. Moira had the right to live. We had the right to expect to share our daughter's life. But the doors were opened and no, no bars were put up, no checks were put up. And our rights, Moira's rights, were wiped out in one fell swoop. Today's report by the National Audit Office highlights the British failure to sign up to a European database which allows border staff to receive alerts about foreign criminals. And police failed to check the background of a suspect with the European criminal record system in seven out of ten cases. And when they did check, one in three were found to have a criminal record. In terms of deporting criminals, the Prime Minister today insisted things are looking up. And we're reducing the number of appeal routes from 17 routes, which were there under Labour, to just four. So we're making progress. The buck stops with me, but I wouldn't mind a bit of cross-party support for the actions we need to take. B. Jones has heard it all before, and the death of Alice Gross has brought it all back. When, when the news came about Alice, it was like I'd been... I felt I'd let Miss Moira down. I wanted to do this, didn't want there to be another case like Moira's. There's no doubt this issue will feature large in the coming election, but politicians of all colours can't get away from the fact that despite throwing money at the problem, nothing's really changed.